This is Pat Lee, and you are listening to Math World. Now, here's the question: Can you guess how the human hand, the petals of certain kinds of flowers, and even some famous paintings could be related mathematically? Well, if you have no idea, our question of the day from listener Lucy Warwick in Rhode Island will help you. Miss Warwick asks. I heard a lot about a Fibonacci sequence lately. What exactly is it? For an answer, we contacted Professor of Mathematics Dr. James Christ. Hello, Dr. Christ. Can you tell us a little about a Fibonacci sequence to answer Miss Warwick's question? Well, that's a great question, especially since sequence arises in so many forms, and many people have no idea about it. It's really very intriguing once you read a bit. First, what a sequence is is a series of numbers, and in a sequence, each number is the sum of precedent two numbers. In other words, you add two numbers together to get the next one. Let's look at the start of it. The numbers are one, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. So, if we add the first two numbers, one and one, we get two, which is the third number. Then one and two equal three, which is the fourth number. Then two and three equal five, which is the fifth number, and so continues. So let's see.、Um, each number is the sum of previous two numbers, and the sequence can just go on and on. Yes, that's right. And what's so amazing about it is that sh- sequence shows the variety in so many ways. It appears in the natural world. Natural forms tend to reproduce the sequence. For example. Flowers, pinecones, the seashells, the, the cut the petal on the flower. They are more likely to be five petals than four. The spirals in a seashell also vary in number from the sequence. It's not easy to see with flowers, but the measurements of the spiral are numbers of the sequence. Some people even mention the human hand when talking about the sequence. We have two hands, each digits five five fingers, and each finger has three parts celebrated by two knuckles. All of these are numbers in a sequence. Maybe it's just a coincidence, or maybe not. And it's not just in the natural world. It also in the art world. It appears in a lot of art. Probably the most famous work of Leonardo da Vinci. You see a lot of spirals in his painting, and spirals are the form most associated with Fibonacci sequence. It appears. It also appears in music. One part pieces paste in a sequence in the way the musical patterns repeat. Now it's not clear whether the poet is consciously or not. Hmm, interesting. Who discovered all this? It was discovered by a mathematician in Italy in early 1200s. His name was Leonardo Pisa, but he called himself Fibonacci because his father name was Banacci. Anyway, it was an extraordinary mathematician who actually introduced the decimal system to other mathematicians at the time. So mathematicians is known about a sequence for a long time. Yes. Now your listener says that she heard a lot lately about the Fibonacci sequence. It seems like interest in this area kind of comes and goes in popularity. Lately, it has been more popular. I think it's great. It's fascinating, and if it gets people interested in math and numbers, then all the better. It is fascinating. Thank you so much, Dr. Chris. You're welcome.